Now there'll be circumstances where you need to reconfigure the receiver on the tractor and specifically the radio in the receiver and configure it to the base station that the farm you're on works on. Uh, so this might happen if you move between farms and you're not picking up um, RTK signal anymore because the base station on the two farms are different or it might happen if you've just put that receiver on the tractor and it was previously being used as a base station or on an implement or something like that so it'll need reconfiguring so I'll take you through that process now so if we go to our main menu button then click on the receiver icon now at this stage you'll see the RTK network configuration operating mode is off a few buttons you can press through here. We want to click on the the icon with the uh, receiver on the tripod and it will take you to the, the details of the receiver. So we want to configure that receiver, configure the RTK network. Currently the operating mode is off. We change that to vehicle. It's possible to select vehicle repeater however it's not recommended unless you specifically need it um, if we have too many repeaters working in an area it can confuse the signal so generally we'll just select vehicle and then we need to input the radio channel and network ID for the farm in this case it's 10 for the radio channel and the network ID is 15 so we put both of those in and then just click on the accept button and it will go through the process of configuring that radio. So within the receiver there's a radio that picks up the RTK signal from the base station. And that was successful and we've got base station data OK, base station location absolute 1, we're 3.95 k's from it and base battery 2.9, it's got all the details of the base and we are ready to rock and roll.